What's up y'all, it's your girl saying, and today I'm gonna to be reacting to a video from Viral Hip Hop News titled, CEO Ronald Dalton Jr. stands 10 toes down against the powers that be after trying to destroy Kyrie Irving. Let's go ahead and get into it. We all have bared witness to the public lynching of one Kyrie Irving. Yes, we who have. currently plays for the Brooklyn Nets for how long, we have no idea because he has been suspended and they gave him a laundry list of stipulations in order to get back on the court. One of those to be dancing on hot coals, butt naked while they shoot bullets at you, screaming, you better apologize. It pretty much sums it up like that. You better apologize. You better get on your knees. You better apologize. And you better not ever, ever in your life show anything promising to black people again. You better not ever drop a link to a movie that could pretty help much. black people understand who they are. You better not ever look up your name, Kyrie, and understand what that means and post a link. You better not ever do no like that again boy you better just play basketball dribble that shit the way you're doing shut up that's what it feels like they telling Kyrie pretty much like that's literally what is happening they're basically telling him to shut up and dribble which is finally like LeBron was the main factor of we're we're more than athletes we can do xyz blah blah, blah. yet he's been very quiet and then actually even in a recent press conference went against Kyrie which is crazy because Kyrie ain't say nothing. He shared a link. And I said this in my last video, which someone, I don't even know how you took this wrong, what I said, but I will reiterate this again in this video. The people that are so upset with Kyrie, why are y'all mad with Kyrie, yet you're not mad at Amazon or the guy who made the film, right? It just seems like selective outrage. He's the one with the um, the clout, right? He, he's the big source. He's the one with the money. So they're just like, ah, ah, how dare he share this and blah, blah, blah. I'll be real with you. If the media didn't even hype this up the way they hyped this up, most people wouldn't even know he shared that link. Because the media hyped it up, and this is what backfired for them, because they hyped it up, all of us are going to look at the link now and watch the movie. Isn't that insane? We're doing the one thing you didn't want us to do because you overhyped it. You kept pushing it. Kyrie done apologized and all of that. And it's not, it's not good enough. It's not good enough. You want him to get on his knees and say, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That's why there was a thing going around saying he, um, he said he was going to retire. Now, obviously, no big media is pushing that. But if that is true, I do hope he retires. And I said that in the last video. But to go back to the point where I said, why are people mad at Kyrie and not these two things? Because if you truly angry, like you claim you are, you would protest Amazon. You would get it taken off the platform so that them and the guy could stop making money. I don't agree with that. I'm just saying if these people are that angry, why are they not pushing for that? Because they're not that angry. They, mad, they just mad Kyrie shared it. And got it out there because most of us wasn't even paying attention to this. The few people that randomly came across that search and found it, they saw it, right? But their network isn't big enough to push that out there. The fact that Kyrie is as big as he is and he was able to get that link out to all of us and then the media, like some idiots, hyped it up how they hyped it up. We all watching it now. We all seeing how, where we come from and our history and blah, blah, blah. We all checking it out now. <laughs> Backfired completely on them, a bunch of idiots. <laughs> and not only are they saying it, but they have black media pundits expressing the same thing and carrying out their dirty work. Yeah. Pundits of the likes of Shaquille O'Neal would hurt mm -hmm. my feelings because I really like Shaq, Charles Barkley. To be fair, we knew Shaq was a sellout, though. He had put his face on anything to get the bag. Like, we already knew he a sellout. And it's crazy because, like, how much money is, like, not enough to not do that anymore. You know what I'm saying? So like Kyrie, if it's true that he wants to retire, right? If if that's true, hopefully he's looking at whatever wealth he has is like, oh yeah, I could live off this for the rest of my life. That's F you money. Considering Shaq, they claim his net worth is 400 million. That's not enough for you to say F you, I'm not doing that. I'm not about to be a puppet or a pawn, but the media knows who they can play get, play these games with. They got their special ones. You know what I'm saying? Shannon Sharp, just to name a few. We haven't seen much support 
in regards to Kyrie Irving from his NBA cohorts. Hell, we heard LeBron James say hate is terrible no matter how you look at it. Even though if anybody has ever mm -hmm. taken the time to actually watch the documentary that is currently being upsold on Amazon at the current moment, you let me know what you see bad in it because I watched it. And let me tell you something. I didn't see a god thing bad in it. But needless to say, the CEO of... So out of everybody I know that watched it, the only thing that I heard that was wrong was when um, they were talking about the Holocaust. They tried to diminish the actual numbers and they tried to say something like they tried to paint um, Hitler in a more positive light. Now, if true, because I haven't watched it yet, right? But that's what I've noticed. That's what everybody is saying that I know that has watched it. So if true, I don't agree with that part of the documentary, right? That seems kind of wild, <laughs> especially because like I have family members that dealt with the Holocaust. So I think that's, that's a wild statement. That is a wild statement. However, everything else, I'm cool with everything else that was mentioned. But you know what it is. They don't want us to know our history. They don't want us to know what it really is. That's why um, when they teach black history, and it's only during Black History Month in schools, it's a joke. It is a complete joke. From kindergarten to 12th grade, what do we learn every year? Martin Luther King, Rosa Parks, slavery. Maybe Malcolm X, depending what school you go to, right? And it's the same every year. They never dive into it. They never go any deeper. It's like so super surface level of just that. And you never learn anything else. It's a whole joke. If we want to learn our history, we have to learn it ourselves. So when I was coming up, what my mom would do, she would make me read and watch things pertaining to black history outside of school because she knew school wasn't going to teach me. And I believe we all need to do that. And it's continuing education with us as well. So a lot of things that we are going to learn, we're going to continue to learn until the day we die. And that we, that we are responsible for teaching our youth our history because we can't expect them to teach our children accurately because they're not. They're not going to. Of Hebrews Negroes films, Ronald Dalton Jr. had enough of the public lashing and lynching of one Kyrie Irving after sharing his video from Amazon, a link to his video on his social media page. Ronald Dalton Jr. dropped a press release on his social media a couple days ago, and here's what it says. He said, I vehemently reject and condemn any forms of prejudice or hatred towards any person regardless of their race, religion, ethnicity, lineage, ancestry, or sex, as well as violence, racism, bully discrimination, black Jew phobia, and the misuse of the term anti-Semitism, the African diaspora that was sent to the Americans and the Caribbean via the transatlantic slave trade or ethnically the Israelites of the Bible from the lineage of Shem. Therefore, myself or anyone today who is a descendant of Shem, five sons, cannot be anti-Semitic. As a Shemitic, I am against any form of anti-Semitism, anti-Shemitism in America or worldwide. Racist scapegoating as well as an unfair tactic that hold communities of color responsible for social problems must stop. It is our collective duty to create a society where everyone has the same opportunities irrespective of their race, religion, ethnicity, or sex. Freedom of speech and freedom of expression should not be seen as an infringement, but unfortunately based on what we have seen lately in the news, this is the sad reality in America. We definitely have more work to do to fix this. The Israelites are dedicated to collaborating with all groups to make it possible for people from all backgrounds to watch the documentary Hebrews and Negroes Wake Up Black America. Just as one might watch the 1977 Roots TV miniseries, which is shown annually every February during Black History Month. The mass media relies on promoting exclusively stroking fear and assigning blame to those that go against their narratives. Thanks. Everyone should be free to approach their past without worrying that they will be singled out, vilified, and bullied. I implore everyone to take the time to read my books, watch my movie documentaries, then fact check everything so that we all can have a full understanding of the true history of black people in the diaspora, which is now being told from a different perspective. Using the study of history, theology, geography, cartography, biology, chronology, I don't even uh, know what that craniology. Word is. genetics, linguistics, 
archaeology, anthropology, and more, I provide the evidence to substantiate that the information is my visual literary work is indeed factual. Hopefully, after all of this is done, we can begin to forge a nation founded on our complete history. I pray that we are able to continue to bring together all of our backgrounds to embrace historical events and facts that are detrimental to the progression of our society as a whole. And underneath the statement, mm -hmm. or above the statement, I should say, on his Twitter feed, very strong and very pointed, he wrote this press release. I'm not apologizing for nothing because I can't be anti-Semitic because I am an Israelite, Shemite. Still waiting for a debate with the top rabbis to prove who is an Israelite by blood and who can rightfully use the word anti-Semitic. Yeah, he's not saying anything wrong. It's it's literally in the Bible, and it explains um, who like who comes. What is it? It's uh, Shem, Ham, Japhet. That's the three, and it literally states who comes from like each one so <laughs> he's not saying anything wrong and it's also why nobody's trying to debate him because it's literally if you go into the torah which is old testament basically um everything is in there that he's talking about so they don't want us to know that y'all gotta understand man if you if you are religious you know where the original people came from made from god's image they there's also a description of how god and jesus it's in the bible all right so i know we have this whitewashed image of like you know that porcelain white skin with the like the pressed white hair and everything no no he if, if anything at least at least he would have been my color at least but in terms of like hair type it would have either been my hair type or would have been further along and closer to, um, what is it, like 4C or something. Like, it would have been in that direction. It wouldn't have been going down towards, like, what the um, white hair types are. So, it, it, it's literally in the Bible. Like, it's literally in the Bible. We all can read it. But, yeah. I plan on, I said this in another video, I do want to do a, my biblical lineage, which you can actually do yourself to see you know, which bloodline you come from out of the Bible. It is completely hard work. <laughs> it, it takes a lot of um, research to, like, properly figure out who you directly come from. Because what y'all don't realize, the Bible is really just, like, a history book for us. That's really all it is. We, we read a stories about our ancestors from, like, in there. Just, just letting y'all know. Um... I'm reading a book now. I actually did got interviewed uh, last week. And the guy that uh, interviewed me at the end, me and him chopped it up for almost another hour once it was over. And he sent me three books. And in one of the books says, A Father Who Keeps His Promises by Scott Hand. And in the very beginning of this book, he even states that the Bible is literally just like history. We're reading things that our, our big brothers and big sisters did back in the day. Because we all come from one of these bloodlines. It's just figuring out which one. So I would just implore y'all to like read y'all by. I know a lot of people are like, well, I'm not religious and blah, blah, blah. I would highly recommend you start learning your scripture and your Bible. Because that does play a part into to learning where you come from. Where do you think all this came from? I'm going to go back to the screen. Where do you think this came from? He says Shemite. He believes that we all come from the bloodline of Shem and we are the true Israelites. That's why we can't be anti-Semitic. So you will learn that in your Bible, though. You will learn that that's in the Old Testament. And that's why nobody has stepped up that's a rabbi to disprove that point. None of them have come forward. If anything, all I have seen is videos of um, Jewish people just upset with Kyrie and Kanye and no talk to this dude talk to ronald dalton jr talk to him he created all of this stuff that uh not not created all the stuff but he he's the one that created the documentary in the book that y'all are upset about talk to him i don't know why y'all trying to crucify everybody else for sharing it talk to the source 
That's what I said earlier. If y'all was really this mad, you'd be protesting to get all this this off. But you're not because you're really not that mad. You have selective anger at certain people because of how big they are. He not that big. So you're just like, oh, I'm not worried about him. But he's the one that, that put the information together so we all can learn about it collectively. And that's what I'm saying. If the media, the media is so stupid. <laughs> They're so stupid. If they really wanted to knock out the head, he would be the head. Goofies. Now, once again, I don't believe in knocking. I'm, I'm down with all of this. Weird, I have to clarify that because I, I got the most weirdest comment on the last Kyrie video uh, where I explained the same thing where I'm like, why are you selectively mad here when you should really be mad in this direction? That shows me y'all not truly mad. Dude got upset and was like, how dare you say, uh, what was it? Can't, he was like, how dare you say cancel the documentary? What's wrong with you? Is this? It's like, bro, I never said that. It's like a 13 minute video of me agreeing with Kyrie, me down with Kyrie, me telling Kyrie that he needs to move on or retire. Like, bro, what video did you watch? But let me make it more clear in case any more of y'all want to come over here to this video, not comprehending what I'm saying, but yeah. Uh, I would recommend watching it. I plan on watching one YouTuber I follow. His name is Night Talk. He put up a poll saying like, do y'all want me to live stream it? And I don't know if he'll get away with that on YouTube, but he has a rumble. And I was told that the movie, well not movie, but documentary. I need to say documentary, not movie. It's over like three hours long. So you plan on watching it? Take notes, get some popcorn, get some drinks, because you're going to be sitting there for a minute, but it's worth it. From what I heard, it's worth it, and I actually want to plan on watching it myself. But until next time, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss when I drop a video, because you already know who it is. It's Sang.